my beloved students in today's session we are going to find the matrix from a given quadratic form let us consider q as the given quadratic form or we can write it as qf quadratic form is nothing but x transpose ax where x is a column vector x1 x2 x3 or a column matrix you can take the next transpose is going to be x1 x2 x3 this is the case for 3 cross 3 matrix if your matrix is 2 cross 2 then i will take x is equal to x1 x2 and x transpose is x1 x2 row matrix we learn what is x and x transpose next we see what is a a is a real symmetric matrix matrix in the basics we learn what is mean by symmetric matrix i'll give an example let us consider a matrix when i want to find the transpose i will convert the rows into columns or columns into rows here the first row is 1 2 3 i'm going to write it as the column then the second row is 2 4 5 i'm going to write it as a column and similarly the third row is 3, 5, 6. I am going to write it as the column. Now you see the matrix A and A transpose are exactly the same. So when you convert or when you change the rows into columns or columns into rows of a given matrix A, then the new matrix is the transpose. When A and A transpose are equal, then the matrix is said to be symmetric matrix so whenever we find a matrix a from the quadratic form qf always the a is real symmetric matrix so the quadratic form given in the problem is looks like this now first of all we have to identify how many variables are there here x1 x2 x3 so it has three variables then it is going to be a 3 cross 3 matrix a is a 3 cross 3 matrix if you found only two variables x1 x2 it is going to be a 2 cross 2 matrix we consider the matrix as b sometimes instead of giving x1 x2 x3 they may give like this for example 8 x square 9 y square 3 z square plus 2 x y 2 y z 4 x z in this case we have to consider the variables as x y and z so whatever they give better we convert this problem into x1 x2 x3 this is going to be convenient for us why we'll see in the example problems so now i can map this to x1 x2 x3 and i can rewrite this equation as 8 x1 square 9 x2 square 3 x3 square so x y so 2 into x1 x2 2 into y z is x2 x3 and x z is x1 x3 then we can proceed how to find the matrix a from this given quadratic form so as i said since it has three variables my x is going to be the column matrix x1 x2 x3 and x transpose is x1 x2 x3 that is a row matrix so before we find the matrix we remember this in our school days the position of the matrix we say it as a11 12 13 similarly 21 22 23 31 32 33 since it is going to be a real symmetric matrix as i said the position a12 and 21 possess the same value and similarly the position 13 and 31 are same and similarly 23 and 32 are going to be same the coefficients are going to be same so keep this idea in our mind and we are going to fill the matrix so a12 is equal to 21 a13 is equal to 31 a23 is equal to 32 now let us fill the matrix first we fill the diagonal elements coefficient of x1 square is going to be the my first diagonal value then similarly coefficient of x2 square will give the second diagonal value and coefficient of x3 square will give you the third diagonal value so next we are going for x1 x2 so x1 x2 means the position 1 2 2 1 it is going to be the same so once you fill the diagonal elements all the off diagonal elements whenever i fill something it is always going to be divided by 2 so coefficient of x1 x2 we have to take divide by 2 and fill in the 
one two position and two one position. Next, we have one three position and three one position. Now you go for the coefficient of x one x three. Divide by two and fill this coefficient of x one x three here and here. Finally, we have x two x three position. That is two three position and three two. Since both are same, fill the coefficient by dividing by two. Now you get the matrix A, which is a real symmetric matrix. Okay, let us go into a examples. Then you get a clear idea, students. First of all, we take the quadratic form. Whenever you see the quadratic form, immediately check how many variables are there. Here we have x one, x two, x three. For positioning purpose, we don't bother about the x. We just bother about the values. X one square means x one into x one. So consider this as one one. X two square two two. X three square three three. This is for the position. X one x two one two. X two x three two three. X one x three one three. So now it is going to be very simple for us. Now I am going to write the matrix. First we have to fill the diagonal elements. So one one two two. Three three is the position. Now let us fill the values. In one one position, the coefficient is three. Two two position, coefficient is five. And three three position, the coefficient is seven. Done. Next, we are going to fill one two position. Here, the coefficient is four. One two and two one are this position, and it is going to be the same. We have four here, so four divided by two, it is two. So two two. Next one three position. One three position is available here since one three and three one are same. The coefficient is eight. So eight by two four. Here we are going to fill four four. And finally we have two three position. My two three position is here and three two position is here. Let us fill the coefficients. Here the coefficient is six. Six by two is three. So I am going to fill the values three three. And this is going to be my Required matrix. Hope you understand. Next example. Here also you see there are three variables x one, x two, and x three. And very important. Sometimes instead of giving x one, x three, they may give six x three x one. Since it is a real symmetric matrix, whatever they give, both are correct. So now let us write the matrix. X one square by x two square. X three square two x one x two two x two x three six x one x three. We can rewrite it. Now let us go to the matrix directly. First fill the diagonal elements. Coefficient of x one square is one. Coefficient of x two square is five. Coefficient of x three square is one. So the diagonal elements gets over. Next we go for one two and two one positions. Here the coefficient is two. So I am going to write. One one. Then we go for the one three position. Here it is. So the coefficient is six. Six by two is three three. And finally we have two three position. That is this and this. A coefficient is two. Two divided by two is one. This is going to be my real symmetric matrix A. You see, we can write the matrix. Hope you understand. So in this example, what is important? Even though they give X three X one. We can take it as X one X three. Okay. Let us see few more examples. Sometimes instead of giving X one X two X three, they may give like this. So it doesn't matter for us. X is X one. Y is X two. For us, for us, X is going to be X one. Y is going to be X two. Z is going to be X three. Because if you take like this. Then there will be no trouble. You know, you never do any errors. So let us convert the problem in terms of x one, x two, x three. So two x one square, six y square. I can write it as six x two square, two x three square. Then two x one, x three. Since it has three variables, my matrix is going to be three cross three. You see the position one one two two three three one three. Now let us find the matrix. First, let us fill the Diagonal elements. One one position. I have two. Two two position six. Three three position two. So here only one three position is available. What is the meaning of this? That means coefficient of one two and two one is zero. Similarly, coefficient of two three and three two is zero. 
So I'll write it as zero 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 zero. And coefficient of one three is two. Two divided by two is one. So my matrix is like this. Hope you understand. Okay. Next problem. A quadratic equation need not to be always positive. There may be some negative values also there. So let us see this. Six x one square. 3x2 square, 3x3 square, minus 4x1 x2, minus 2x2 x3, plus 4x1 x3. So it has three variables, x1, x2, x3. So my matrix is going to be 3 cross 3. So let us write the positions 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3. Now let us write the matrix. As usual, we do the diagonal entries 6, 2, 2, position 3, 3, 3, position 3. Then when we go for 1, 2, this time we should be very careful. The coefficient is minus 4. So when I divide by 2, I will be getting minus 2. So 1, 2, 2, 1 position over. Then when I go for 1, 3, the coefficient is 4. So 4 divided by 2, 2. So 1, 3, 2 and 3, 1 position 2. Then when I go for 2, 3 position, it is minus 2. So minus 2 divided by 2, minus 1 minus 1. If you miss the minus, then the total problem will be collapsed. You get the wrong answer. So, you should be very careful while filling the matrix. Okay, let us go into a next example. The next example is very, very interesting. You see, we have only 2x1, x2, 2x2, x3, 2x1, x3. My matrix is going to be like this. It does not contain any square term. When you see the number 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3. So, all the diagonal elements are 0. When you go to the first position, 1, 2, the coefficient is 2. So, 1, 2, 2, 1 is 1. Then, 1, 3 position, the coefficient is 2. So, 1, 1. And similarly, 2, 3 position, the coefficient is 2. It's going to be 1, 1. So, the matrix is simple. So, the quadratic form may contain square terms or some square terms may be missed out. If it is missed out, that means the coefficient is 0 and finally we see one more example, more confidence. We should be very careful with this quadratic form. It has only x1 and x2, two variables. It cannot be a 3 cross 3 matrix. It is going to be a 2 cross 2 matrix since I have only two variables. So now you see the position 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 2. So, the coefficient is 7 and the coefficient is 6. When you see the coefficient of 1, 2, it is minus 10. So, I have to take minus 10 divided by 2, minus 5, minus 5. This is the real symmetric matrix for the given quadratic form. So, here x is simply x1, x2 column matrix and x transpose is simply x1, x2 row matrix. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and share to your friends and batchmates and groups. Thank you again. See you in the next video.